Hello everyone, today I'm in Berlin with Georg. Hello Georg. Hello. Today we will talk about data mesh and Georg will explain to us what is the difference between a data lake and a data mesh and why data mesh is so important now. So nowadays every company wants to become data driven, making data driven decisions or even AI supported decisions. And since data is so crucial to every business, um, companies want, want to gain as much business value as possible out of their data. And um, therefore solutions like data lakes or modern data warehouses came into play and they have pushed enterprises a lot forward to enable them to analyze the data and explore their data more deeply and improve their business intelligence significantly. And even uh, enable machine learning use cases or real-time analytics, for example. Um, these solutions are very centralized in technical but also in organizational terms. Um, in most cases there is a central platform, a central data platform, maintained and operated by a central engineering team. And this engineering team is not only responsible for, for the infrastructure, but also for the data pi pipelines, for the use cases and for the data quality coming out of these pipelines. But with an increasing number of use cases and with an increasing complexity of the data landscape, um, these solutions are often not scalable anymore, especially in larger organizations. Mm, and this being not scalable anymore can lead to several shortcomings. For example, um, data silos can, can uh, be created where nobody knows where to find which data. It can lead to a lack of data quality due to this central engineering team um, being responsible for the data quality but without having the business knowledge and the knowledge about the data. And it can lead to a lot of friction between the teams, um, between the team that is ordering a new data pipeline and the, the engineering team that is implementing it. And it can, can also lead to a slow implementation of new use cases uh, due to that friction. The data mesh um, is a new approach to tackle these shortcomings. It's more an organizational uh, approach than a technical one. And the basic idea is to have a distributed, decentralized data platform instead of having a centralized one. And um, in that data platform, there are so-called domains. So a mesh is composed of several domains connected to each other. And each domain represents basically a business domain or a business unit or a topic. And each domain, and this is the organizational part, um, has one dedicated domain team that is cross-functional, um, that is composed of business experts, engineers, um, data scientists, um, and a domain owner. And this team is responsible for the data and the data quality. Um, so there's a new way of thinking um, that comes into play. Um, the thinking of data products. So each domain outputs a data product and this data product can then be consumed by other domains. For example, to create a new domain. Um, so the, the data products can benefit from each other. And data products are a standardized uh, yeah, data sets that can, can be consumed in the same way. They are trustful, they have a certain degree of quality, um, and uh, everything is secure by default, by design. And the technical part, the technical platform, only supports this dis distributed approach by providing the correct infrastructure for this. Um, it provides perfectly configured um, and standardized domain environments and enables domains to work very autonomously and independently. It provides a data catalog to search for data products and find and, and, and find out how to consume them. And it provides um, security and federated governance and other features. Thank you, Georg, for your inputs. And see you next week for a new Tech Trends topic.